Welcome to DFEM Rainbow Day 15. I just got back from a beautiful walk in the rain and I'm ready for more prompts. So today we have another bulky bag. It's this beautiful dragonfly. Love this bag. And the animal we have today is this fun flamingo. So today's snack is German-Austrian. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. It had both countries listed. It's perfect because Louise is actually German, even though she lives in Austria. And I'm Austrian, so how perfect is this snack? So this is a Kinder Joy. I have never had these. I know the Kinder Überraschungseier, which are the eggs with the surprise inside, but I've never had a Kinder Joy. I don't know what they're about. I'm guessing they have another surprise inside like the eggs do. Uh -huh. So you can take them apart like this. So in this side there was a toy. It's a car that you have to build. It's two pieces so I guess I can do that. So there's the car. <laughs> there's some stickers to go with it. I don't think I'm going to bother. And this is the snack side. It looks super weird. <laughs> I have never seen this before. I hope it tastes better than it looks. The brown chocolate things are crispy and have some sort of a filling. And then the white is sort of like a cream. Let's try this. This is a super weird snack somehow. I don't think I would ever buy this again. I mean, it's not bad, but it's very strange. I'm going to give this a seven out of 10. So let's see what today's prompts are. So today we have metal and photo. That sounds like it's something completely out of my comfort zone, which is awesome because that means I can try and learn new things. There's a lot of different things you can use for the metal. Very easily you could use like a paper clip, a brad, a metal charm. I'm sure there's so many things in your craft supplies that you could use for this. I want to try something I've never tried before. And I still have this can from yesterday. <laughs> I've washed it. And I want to try to use this. One thing we can always use is, of course, this top part here. So I'll take that off. I'm not sure I'll be using that today. These are very cute to use, for example, as tag toppers. You can add a little bit of wax paste or alcohol inks to it to make it look more vintage and more grungy. So these are a lot of fun to use but I want to try something completely different today. I want to see if I can use my die cuts and embossing folders on this metal. So first I need to get a piece of this without the top and the bottom. So I'm going to do that with my craft knife. Please, please, please be careful <laughs> if you try to do this. Uh, I'm also going to try to be careful, not only with the craft knife, but also we don't want to cut ourselves with the sharp edges of the can. So first I think I need to make a hole. Okay, it cuts quite easily, it looks like. So then I'll just cut around. Do it slowly, there's no need to rush. There's a sticker on here that I should probably take off. It's bending a lot now while cutting. It's kind of difficult. Okay, so the top part is off. The edges aren't super sharp, but I think you could injure your finger if you're not careful. So now I think the bottom will be more difficult because it's not going to keep its shape. So maybe I can find something to stuff in here to make it more sturdy. I think my clear gesso, I mean, it could be a bit bigger, but I'll try it with this. It's better than nothing. So I'll just cut the bottom part off here. This was super helpful, so I can definitely recommend that. So now I have this sleeve, it's still dripping. So now I want to open this. I guess I'll just cut down like this. That was quite easy. 
Now I can open this. So first I'm going to try to emboss this. And I'm going to use this Tim Holtz Sizzix die. I will do my best to link this for you in the description box. It's one of these 3D embossing folders. But I think any embossing folder should work. So I'm going to put this in here. And close it. And let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, this makes me so happy. <laughs> you have to try this, wow. And the next thing I want to try is thinlets. And I'm using this beautiful leaf dye by Tim Holtz. The number is 665559. Again, I will link this for you below as well. I'm going to try one of the smallest leaves because I want to try it here where I haven't embossed yet. <gasps> it looks like it worked. Whoa, I did not know the thin lids could do this. Let's just poke out the holes. Wow, did you know that the thin lids could do this. I mean, I know that the big Z ones can do this, but not the thin lids. We have a metal leaf. So since that worked so well, I'm going to also die cut some of this here with some of the leaves. I think I can only get two. I need more cans. <laughs> I never buy soda cans, so hmm, might have to get some of those. This is so cool. Oh, I should have thought of that. It's probably better to first do this and then put it in the embossing folder because of course now the design has completely flattened. So maybe I should run these through this again now. So I'll put all three of my leaves into my embossing folder. This one looks amazing. This was the one that didn't have the embossing before. These two are all right. They have, of course, some of the embossing from before. <laughs> now they have another pattern from now. It's still okay. It's not perfect, but it's fine. It has a lot of interest. I'm thrilled with this. So now I want to grunge these up a little bit and this here as well while I'm at it. I'm going to use my alcohol inks. The only colors I have are butterscotch and caramel, so I will use these. You can also use wax paste like this, for example. So I'll just put it on top. And then the lighter one, which is the butterscotch. Although here you cannot tell the difference actually at all. <laughs> That's a bummer. I don't think it's necessary that I cover all of it, but I think most of it I want colored. This needs to dry. So these are all dry now. They dry actually very quickly. They look super cool. But what I've discovered is that the back sides are even cooler. Look at this. <laughs> I just love that we can see part of the can. I cannot see the impression of the embossing folder that well because it's so colorful. But I'm really loving this. This one is not so spectacular. And of course, we still need to integrate the flamingo somehow. So this is our flamingo. And given that these have pink on them, I just had an idea, which I think is really funny. What if we make his body out of these leaves? 
Obviously, they're very disproportionate, but I think that makes it all the more funny. I would cut these stems off and then we could have this big flamingo body. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I love it. So let's first cut off those stems. It's very easy to cut with scissors. Then I will cut him out. Maybe leave a little bit more for the body and cut the rest out. So this is what I managed. As you can see, I left a bit of a border. It is quite tricky to cut something out, which is this delicate. Okay, let's add his body. <laughs> I think he looks great. And now I need something to put him on for him to stand out. And on my desk, I found this. This is just a piece of thicker paper on which I cleaned my brayer when I was making the jelly prints. I think this should provide a pretty good background. Yeah, I like this. Maybe the other way around. I think that looks great. So I want to cut this down a little bit. Then I want to ink up the edges with black. And since I want a nice crisp line, I'm going to use my ink pad directly again. And then we are of course still missing the photo part of the prompt. So I took this paper bag, which is the one we had yesterday and which is definitely one of my favorite ones. And I took a photo of it <laughs> and I'm going to use this. I wish I could provide this as a freebie for you, but I can't because of copyright reasons. This stencil is of course copyrighted, so I'm sorry, but I'm sure you can find another piece of art from your stash that you could take a photo of. Maybe you have some packaging paper that you intended to use as collage fodder. You could take your stencils and spray through them or take your sponge and put the paint through them and then take a photo of that. You can use it, of course, for your own projects. And I like this one for this project because this yellow here is similar to the yellow here on our can. So I think they should go together really well. And I'm going to cut the white border off. And then I'll cut it so that the border is equal on all the sides. Since this is just regular copy paper, I want to mount this on some cardstock. Then I'm going to distress the edges of this one with my black suit. Don't forget to do the back side as well. So that will look like this. So once we have a distressed edge and once we have a very crisp edge. And even though I love the black background, I think we could add a little more interest. I found this on my desk. I think this is a super cool die. It looks like a fence. It's from Hero Arts and it's called DF029 Chain Linked Fancy Die. If I can, again, I will link this for you. There's also their website, www.heroarts.com. But black on black, I mean, we would definitely notice it. But I'm thinking I would rather add some gold on top. So I'm going to use this wax paste from Craft Emotions in metallic gold. These particular wax pastes from Craft Emotions are very soft, which is why I really like them. And you can apply them with a brush and they smell like orange, which is also really nice. <laughs> so I'll just go over it. I'm giving it a distressed look, so I don't want covered completely in the gold. OK, 
Okay, I'll let this dry for a couple of minutes. It dries really quickly. When I'm done with my brush, I just rub it really hard on a kitchen towel to get all of the gold out and then it becomes nice and fluffy again. Once it's dry, I can glue it onto our background. Looking at how the flamingo will be placed, I want his head to be in the black part. So he needs to be fairly far on the bottom left, but that's fine because we need space for the wings anyway. And we see here then his feet are kind of in a weird position here. So I want to add something on the ground here. And I thought maybe some of this chocolate foil would be the solution. I think that should be fine. So I'll glue that down. So then we can glue the flamingo down as well. Oh, I just realized I didn't glue this part down yet, so I need to do that as well. I thought about gluing this one down with foam tape to make it stand out a little bit more, but then I decided it's too bulky. We don't want to make our journal more bulky. If it was like a card, which wouldn't go into a journal, then I would have done that. So now we can adhere our leaves. And I'll clamp those down for a little bit until the glue grabs properly. Okay, I need different clamps. <laughs> Bringing out the heavy duty clamps. It's a few minutes later and the glue has grabbed. And I decided I also want to add this here. I don't think it looks great in the middle. I think it looks better actually here on the side. So I'm going to make a hole. And then we need a brad. I'll take this one here, which looks like a screw, and we'll put that through the hole because conveniently, they have these holes there, <laughs> so that's perfect for a brand. And then I also want to add a sentiment. The words surprise yourself came to mind instantly because I am definitely surprising myself with these die cuts out of the can. So cool. And I'm going to go ahead and type that out with my vintage typewriter, just on some regular white copy paper. I'll cut it out as one, and then if I have to, I can still cut it apart. Wow, for once I actually like the sentiment on the top left better than on the bottom right. <laughs> so I'm going to ink around this as well. Again, I'll use my black suit for this. So again, this is something that I would have never done if it wasn't for these prompts and to think outside of the box. This is really one of the best parts about Defem Rember. So let's look for a good spot to add our card into. I would really like to find maybe a pocket or something that I can just stick it into rather than having to add another pocket, which would again make it more bulky. Oh, there's a belly band and it has pink. Yes, it fits. Perfect. It's like a secret treasure. 
I don't need to look any further. This is it. Shall we do a bulk check? So at the moment, it's actually still pretty flat. We are a little over the halfway point, so definitely it will become a little bit of a gator mouth, which is totally fine. But at the moment, it's all still under control. <laughs> and I also still have this leaf left for a, another project. So number 15, the metal and photo. Check. I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah.